Grammy for the final stop. Well, not from. We have Miss McCauley to help us ask some questions. Okay. How do you feel about the final straw? I don't know that I know a whole lot about what the final straw is. Mm. Okay, you. Um, it is a reusable straw made out of metal that um, some people are selling. Okay. okay. And what can you say about plastic straws polluting the planet? I think pollution is a problem that we need to find a way to solve. And so if plastic straws are part of the problem, then we need to find a way to get around it. Okay. What would happen if plastic straws weren't banned? Um, they weren't banned? Then it sounds like we would in some places nail bans. Okay. Like, well, if they weren't banned, it seems like we would just continue making the problem we have now bigger. Like they're banning all straws and all plastic straws in Seattle. Okay. And that's all the questions I have. Okay. Yes. We are going to show you something that we found. Okay. Okay. Okay, today we are going to interview Luke. We are going to ask you a few questions and then we're going to show you a video. Start the questions. Okay. What can you say about plastic straws polluting the planet? How bad are they're killing the um fish internal. Um, okay, next question. What would happen if plastic straws weren't banned? Okay, the same thing that's happening right now. Okay, thank you for your time. Okay. And so, are you ready to record me? Today we are, right now we are interviewing Miss Bum. Boom. We moved into this place so it's a little bit quieter. Okay, stop the questions. Okay, what can they say about plastic straws polluting the planet? Well, plastic straws polluting the ocean is what I've heard a little bit about <laughs> recently. And I do know that there's a lot of problems with small plastic items getting into oceans, but I didn't realize that plastic straws were such a big problem. And I have to admit, I kind of like plastic straws, so I feel really super conflicted. I like plastic, plastic straws too. Okay, what would happen if plastic straws were not banned? In some places, I like Well, I think that, um, Places where they're not banned, which I think must be lots of places right now, they're just causing more trash into the oceans. Okay, how do you feel about the final straw? Um, what can you tell me about that? Um, it is a reusable straw that you can hang on a keychain, so it's portable. You can take it anywhere. And right. Okay. So my sister and I were actually talking about this. And um, she was really excited about it because she is so eco-friendly that she carries a little bag in her purse of straws that her family uses whenever they go out to eat. Well, I saw this, the final straw, isn't that what it's called? Yes, the final straw. Um, and I love the idea, but here's where I'm going to be honest with you. It kind of grossed me out a little bit because I was worried that I couldn't ever really get it clean. You can, but... Well, you wouldn't get a deep clean, but... Yeah. Okay. So thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. We're going to interview Mrs. White. Okay. Um, what can you say about plastic straws polluting the planet? I think it's very sad that straws, I like straws, but I've seen pictures of how they can get into the turtles' noses and get stuck. Okay. What would happen if plastic straws weren't banned? Since they don't disintegrate, I guess they'll just get more and more of them because people don't dispose of them like they should, and they'll cause more and more of a problem with our animals. Okay. What do you think about the final straw? It's a reusable straw made out of metal that can be washed, and you know, and if somebody needs it, they can stick it in. I think it's a great idea if people will remember remember to use. It. You can also stick it on your keychain. Yeah. So that would be neat. Because it has packaging. I would be worried really it would get dirty. Gross. Would you, you can use wash it. the final straw? Dishwasher. I might. I might if I could. If I would remember and it got to be a habit, I think. 
Okay, thank you. We are going to now show you the video. Okay. We found what we needed. The people want the final straw. Well, pretty soon you will not find any plastic straws at Starbucks. The company will instead use new strawless lids or straws made from paper or compostable plastic. Starbucks says it's getting rid of them completely by the year 2020 because of their environmental threat to oceans. The city of Seattle also recently banning plastic straws and utensils and many other cities across the country are considering doing the same. And there's one local company that's already offering an alternative to plastic straws. NBC 4's Courtney Newt has the story new at 5.30. Prism encourages people to purchase reusable metal straws like this one right here. Customers get a discount for using them while making a positive impact on the environment. I think we ordered a thousand for the first batch and we had to reorder them after the first month. Using a metal straw is a simple way to reduce your plastic consumption that can help the environment and marine. Life. We were kind of blown away. We have them at the register and people ask about them. Alexis Joseph from a our Creative Group says they started selling them at their stores a few months ago. Having those straws available is kind of an easy way to encourage people to reduce plastic consumption. Starbucks just announced plastic straws will soon be gone for good at their businesses. The coffee company believes it will help eliminate more than one billion plastic straws per year. Order number 10. Restaurants like Alchemy and Trism are already on board with the movement. We're not going to have an earth if we keep doing this kind of stuff. Customer Deja Roundtree decided it was time to make the switch from plastic to metal. I'm trying to, like, cut back at least on my own. Joseph says their restaurants also have biodegradable spoons, forks, and knives, as well as compostable bowls. We really believe in just making little steps because those are the things that create long-lasting habits. But you have the option on whether you'd like to skip the plastic straw. It's just one tiny step toward making an impact, and it might not seem like a huge deal, you know, oh, it's just a little silly plastic straw, but over a lifetime, kind of like using a reusable grocery bag or using glass Tupperware instead of baggies, over a lifetime makes a huge impact. Plenty of other local restaurants around Columbus are beginning to phase out plastic straws, including Land Grand Brewery. Mobile Fame Columbus, 40 Yoon, NBC4.